Hey everybody, we're here to go ahead and do a screen replacement on this Huawei Ascend Plus. You can see we definitely have a shattered screen here. Uh, definitely needs a little bit of help. Looks like the frame's still in pretty good condition. It's just the screen itself. So a couple of the tools we're going to use is a nylon spudger. I'm getting a small Torx screwdriver head. And I do have a guitar pick here uh, to help us separate the back off of the frame as well. I will also be using a playing cards uh, to separate the screen and also a heat gun as well. I'm going to go ahead and take the back battery cover off and go ahead and pop the battery out to make sure the phone is powered off. The next step is to go ahead and take out all of the screws that are holding the phone back in place. Once pointing out the screws on the board or the back frame that we're going to have to take off, just take a, f a few seconds to go ahead and get those removed. Just a few more to go, and we'll go ahead and have the, all the screws out of this back. We'll go ahead and remove it from the device frame. Go ahead and use our guitar pick to go ahead and start sliding this off. It looks like I missed a screw on there in the back. Really the goal is just to put your pry tool in, to slide it back and forth. There's just a few clips in there that uh, hold this together. A little bit of pressure from something like a guitar pick or a safe opening tool. Um, you can use a, a variety of different thin plastic objects will get you the same result. So I'm getting some resistance here. Uh, this is a key and dead giveaway that uh, you missed a screw somewhere. It should be popping off uh, pretty simply or pretty easy by now, but it just doesn't want to come off. You see right there, I've missed a screw. Kind of blended in a little bit. It should make it a lot easier to go ahead and get this back removed. Now you can see me slide the pride tool in, it'll just pop right apart uh, like it should be back pops right off for us. Looks like there's a liquid indicator tripped on the back of this. It's pink or red, a little square at the bottom left hand corner. There's two of them on the device. Not a problem, uh, so we're just looking to replace the screen on this one. So we're going to go ahead and try to put our pry tool underneath and see if there's any adhesive under the logic board. It doesn't seem like there is, but it's held in by a few clips around the device. Our next step is to go ahead and pry off the ribbon cable. So just using my safe opening or my nylon spudger here, it's basically putting it underneath the cable, just twisting a little tiny bit. It'll go ahead and pop right off for you. So there's this clip right here, here, and here that are holding this uh, logic board in place. It's, uh, pretty, it's in pretty snug and this doesn't want to pop out for us. So let's kind of pry back a little bit. I don't want to break the clip. If we pry from the area around it, that'll be beneficial to us to get this out. Try up here at the top. So we missed our LCD connector there. Just pop that right off. Now you can see the board's coming a little bit more free. Do the same thing on this side. Just kind of pry near the connection holding the logic board down. And it should want to go ahead and pop right off for us. Perfect, there we go. We have this removed. Go ahead and set that aside.
Now truly you don't need to really remove a lot more to replace the screen. In fact you can go ahead and heat it up and remove it now. I like to take out as much as I possibly can so nothing gets damaged in the removal process. So we're going to take off the proximity sensor here on the front. Undo the Phillips screw. Just use our spudger here to kind of get underneath the metal frame and pry upwards. Try to see if we can get this to come out. Got a couple of little studs underneath it, you know, popped right off for us. Uh, they kind of hold it in place. You just need to kind of wiggle it back and forth, it'll go ahead and remove for you. Now if your earpiece speaker is not working, it's the top portion here, you can see the two gold prongs at the very top. Uh, you just have to stick a spudger into the side of that and pull it straight um, back. I'm going to go ahead and pop right out for us. You may need to use something a little bit sharper to get it to remove, uh, something like a tweezers or possibly a dental pick. Might make it a little bit easier to get it removed. I'm going to end up using a dental pick here. It gives a little bit more leverage against the side of the speaker. Alright, with that being done, we can go ahead and start to work on the screen here. Uh, the goal is to go ahead and heat up the outside edge uh, nice and warm. We don't want to get it to the point where it's going to melt the plastic. Uh, we're going to use these playing cards here to help us remove the adhesive on the side of the frame of the phone. Possibly a guitar pick here. Now if you're looking to replace the LCD, this is a necessary step as well. You will have to remove the glass to get to the actual uh, crystal display underneath. This is a metal spudger, uh, just in case you run into some really stuff, tough uh, adhesive, this can help us remove it. So we're just going to use our heat gun here and just move around the back sides of the device. It doesn't have to be melting hot, we just want to get it warm enough to make the adhesive pliable to remove it. You don't want to hold your heat gun in the same place for too long. Uh, doing circles or something of that nature will get the it evenly warm and not warm up one spot to the point where uh, you may get a dip in the bezel or the frame in the back. Feeling pretty warm, but we want to get it a little bit warmer. All right, we're going to take our playing card here. Now, these won't damage the frame at all. Uh, these are what I have to try to start with first, see if I can't get it working with this. If need be, I may switch to the guitar pick and possibly the metal spudger. If you can kind of find an opening portion on the frame where uh, it may be missing some glass, it's a good place to start. Got it nice and easy in there. Now you can see that we've got the adhesive starting to get removed. Let's go ahead and take our playing card and slide it up around the frame. Now if it's really fragmented like this one, you may have to uh, pull glass off and then restart the entry point in it a few times. Uh, it can be a little bit tricky to uh, move it around the side of the device. If need be, uh, you can use a tack or a pin to help pry up a, a little bit trickier portions of glass to get yourself started again. Go 
go ahead and heat up the bottom here a little bit more so we can get some greater softening of the glue. Now there is no ribbon cable for the home buttons. So you don't have to be worried about damaging that at all. It's actually attached to the back side of the display. Let's kind of work our way down across the bottom here. Go ahead and work to pry that off. If it's warm enough, you can usually just go ahead and get it started to remove. Be careful of the ribbon cable here if you're looking to save the glass. And just replace the LCD. work our way around the side here and get as much of this adhesive off of here as possible. We don't want anything remaining on the frame or the bezel of the device. Now that we have it off, the next step is to go ahead and clean up any of the left glass or adhesive holding onto the frame of the phone. This is where you want to be a little bit uh, particular about what do you remove. You don't want any remaining adhesive here taken off. You don't want any high spots on the phone. If not, you'll see that the display will try to start to lift off the frame. And over time, it'll go ahead and just get dust underneath it. Uh, so if you want a good re-adhesion of the LCD, clean it up as much as possible. All right, I just want to give you an idea of how much I've cleaned it um, since the last removal of that screen there. So making sure the back, the LCD cable looks good. If you're trying to pop this out, you just have to push that cable through and the LCD will kind of remove for us. You can see that we've removed all of the glue on this frame and it looks great. If you found the video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to watch the next one in the description, I'll go ahead and hit that link.